Welcome to today's video when uh, in this series we are talking about the maps and click so this series uh, this particular video is about the area map so there is nothing very much particular law so let's just get started uh, let's just have a look at the data that we're going to use uh, so this particular data is just about um, stores in different locations and uh, US states uh, so let's just get for wait for the data so here we have the data uh, I have the stores and the states and then some state hierarchy so if you see there is nothing anything about the area here uh, what we're gonna use we're gonna use click uh, map <coughs> uh, provider um, entity location uh, service to get you know uh, the value name of the state so the area of the state from here so I'm just gonna drag drag it and add it as an area layer this particular state so it's gonna automatically recognize you know this is these are the US states and it has drawn that except this one um, it is outside um, so this is Georgia so it has recognized everything else as state but this one has been recognized as a country okay because there's definitely there's country at Georgia and then there's a state Georgia okay so what we can do is let's have a look at the properties um, some basic one in here and let's resolve this location issue from this one so we can we, you can use the location service to further clarify if there is any uh, you know um, doubts or ambiguities in these service uh, location definitions so from scope from auto if I go to custom so I have the option to tell that which you know country this thing belongs to normally in a country values are unique so this is why this we can use that one and uh, we can also put you know in my case i do not have the country field but if your data is from the multiple countries and these things are happening so you can put the country field in here and it can use that and you see there is an example what kind of fields can be used another option can is that instead of using country here i can tell that like okay so this one is administrative level one so it's not the country so it's the one level below administrative level one means state or province it can vary in each uh, from country to country based on how they have set up and then if i see there are options like level two level three level four so it varies each country maybe for one country it's district then it we have the counties uh, or districts um, zip code structure so they vary for each country to country how they have been set up okay so <clears throat> We can do that okay we're gonna i'm gonna stick with the administrative level one and then we have the coloring options in the coloring options we have the single color color by dimension which is very simple and then we have the color by my year so i'm gonna go up color by my year and the my year i'm gonna select as the count of the stores and i'm i can change the label here number of stores so the, this label is going to show me on the mouse over here okay uh, I can change the number format I'm gonna go for now with that and I can change the opacity of this layer and I have the option to change the range from this legends from 10 to 10 uh, so I can put in 250 so that after anything after 250 should be you know dark colored or I can go with the auto one for now I'm going to go with the auto one and I'm going to increase the opacity okay then I have the outline option for this boundary so I'm gonna go with the dark color to make it you know it looks like more readable okay then we have the sorting option so sorting option is uh, in this case there is no overlap but in case there are overlaps so this uh, sorting option helps you to see all the data um, even the layers which have been hidden behind the overlapping layer uh, by default uh, normally what happens is anything which gets sorted first goes behind and uh, so normally if you sort state it should be by descending order of anything uh, the area uh, most likely uh, it should be in descending order so that you know highest one get plotted first and the lowest one get on top and so that you can see everything it nothing get hidden okay uh, then we have the options in here so in general options we have uh, uh, legend options so I'm, I'm gonna stick with this this is the legend option they control 
um, then we have the show tool tip so mouse over it should show is not and then we have the options for the maximum object by default thousand so in our case there are 48 states so we are good but in case you know we have more than thousand areas layer for some reasons points um, in your customized one so to make sure that you know you change this number uh, because if you don't like if I put less than what I have something will be missed out and you might not know that okay so it's important to uh, notice this one and resolve this one and then we have the show labels so show label option is like you know it shows labels in here and we can change those labels let's say I'm gonna go for uh, actually my year one the year that we have just used so I'm gonna use count of store ID so it's number of stores I'm gonna count here okay so instead of so I can see number of stores for each um, region here and I can have the option to change the label etc I'm gonna go uh, with the default fun one for now and let's just change again the labels coloring make it a little darker okay so uh, in some cases uh, this can be a lot of clutter for example if I go in here it is a lot of clutter so I might want to show that on not in all zones but in, um, in different level zones uh, so maybe I just want to show that on level 4 or below okay so I want to just show that and if I go to a lower level now I can see this one okay then I have I can disable the selection just by clicking we can normally select but we can disable this one but I'm not going to do that I'm going to go for now then we have the layer options in layer options we can just control show it or not so if we put that you know use this uh, uncheck this one we can go uh, we can uh, turn that on from the exploration menu we can turn this one on okay and we have the option for label turning and turning on and off so this one these two options we have in here as well so you don't need to worry um, if you know at times this one is required uh, for some reason when we do not want it to be default layer okay uh, then we have the options uh, for excluding from auto zoom uh, or like clicking it does not go for auto zoom so we can do that and we also have the option to show that on a particular zoom level okay so let's just show that at zoom level 4 so if that is our map as less than zoom level 4 this layer would not show up so we can club it with now at this point I'm gonna add another layer and I'm gonna club that with this particular layer, uh, that particular layer. so if I go to this level I do not see that okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add and other layer so in this one I'm gonna use another functionality of click we can add KML files KML file is a standard map format used by almost all the GIS tools like Google Earth or ESRI etc so these are in this is uh, information exchange kind of file you can have some file built in there and uh, you know bring it in click using KML file so KML file looks like you know this XML file we have all these points area it's like a bit complicated uh, but uh, we can just simply you add that in click just by uh, just like normal uh, Excel file or any Excel data with that put in and it automatically uh, it has some all the tags etc so it automatically link with our existing data so in our in this case uh, let's just see that uh, what kind of a data we have in here okay and we have the sales region and we see there is a name for the region and then we have uh, state structure uh, this name is actually linked with this region so I'm gonna just rename this one as sales region and I'm gonna reload this one okay so we have got these three regions and these are customized one based on our XML uh, script okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this one as here as a new uh, area layer okay but nothing happened because uh, it has recognized it as a 
uh, location field so I'm going to change the location to sales dot region okay so here we have these three regions and let's change color by dimension okay so and in this one let's just put the change the all the other options are same uh, so I'm just going directly to my options in here and in this one I'm gonna say that okay show that up to level 4 okay now if I click in here so it's gonna further zoom in and you know this layer that layer disappears and this layer appears so we can control this one how it should show which layer and uh, it's uh, you know good control of the data and also visibility of the different points okay then we can also use calculation condition so exactly same thing can be i can i might want okay only show this layer if one country is selected or one count uh, one region is selected so we can use different kind of calculations as well to control our show and hide for different layers okay uh, then we have the option for the tooltip in the both of these cases we have the option for tooltip. we can customize that and when we do customization we can have put title we can have description in formula it can be you know about a stage is it see etc we can put my years we can put charts uh, we can add images uh, in the tooltip there is a detailed video about the tooltips uh, in the same channel uh, if you just click uh, search for that you will find that I will try to put a link as well in the description so if you are further interested what you can put in in the tooltip uh, which essentially the tooltip is when you hover the mouse you will see charts etc breakups you can see a lot of information that's a very powerful thing you can uh, have that uh, use that one uh, for now I'm gonna I'm not going to cover that one but uh, you can uh, have a look at the particular video okay so this one was using the KML find, which is a standard format generated by something else. There is another way to put a layer and click using uh, an other, um, you know, clicks native, more native, I would say, um, uh, method. So that involves essentially uh, we can add, we can have customized location. So I have region one. And if you see this particular layer, just have the points. This is and click this is how we recognize the point uh, longitude and latitude uh, in a square bracket so we can have point and then second point third point fourth point uh, so there should minimum be three points and then the last point and the first point should always be same so that the loop can be closed otherwise it will not be a closed shape and you might not get uh, area map. so for area it should be a closed shape so closing in order to close the shape you need to uh, complete the circle the loop and then we put three square brackets at the start and three square brackets at the end uh, to complete that one okay so now I have this one as well uh, let me just let's just add this one along with our data so here we go uh, this one and I'm gonna add custom location And I'm gonna load this one and I'm gonna add an other chart okay so we have custom location so I'm just gonna drag the custom area let's see what it does so it automatically recognize that it's going to be the oh it says recognize you know it has you see it has recognized as a table but I want it as a map so let's just track the map uh, but you can see that you know how this is exactly like how we saw that in our Excel file. Okay, so let's just add custom area. So this is going to be the area layer. Okay, so you see uh, now we have this one as area layer, and this is nothing like standard. This is just random five four points I have um, added. And uh, in the region, I'm going to add as the region the dimension of it not the location so this is the location should be custom custom area okay so I do not need scope of location because the customized area it's it does have its own geo point so there is no need uh, but I'm gonna go and uh, change the color by dimension 
okay so here we go i have region one two three and i can link that with my actual data um and wherever we need so these are my custom regions okay and then all the properties like options etc are there okay i'm gonna have a look at the overall properties of the map in here as well so if we go into the map setting we can change the options for the base map and we have the options to change time kind of um, strategy it has mercator or adaptive um, and then we have the language option auto or local or it should be the english always we have the unit what kind of units you want to use we can have the selection method that you can use uh and here and then in appearance there are other options like titles etc uh, which are available in almost everything alternate states and then we have the legend options so by default we see these legends and we can go to we can turn that off or we can have them and then we can change the position of the these legends let's say if we can uh by default we have them on right or left let's say just we want to have them on top uh maybe it make more sense for us so we can use that and then in, in the presentation layer we have the option for styling where we can uh, control the title that sector some basic uh, properties uh, keep an eye on this one there are new options coming in in the styling one as well and then we can uh, turn on the navigation here so if we turn on the navigation here so you see this one disappears and this is actually more suited to you know uh, zoom levels uh, so this is zoom level 0 1 2 3 4 so you see the, the fourth level uh, that layer disappears and this one comes in into the play okay and uh, uh, then we have the scale bars um, uh, this one scale bar we can turn that on and off uh, we can limit the zoom level that maybe you know um, at time we might think that you know it should not go too much on top maximum it should go at zero two uh it should not go to you know you know at the street level or the point level because it will not see anything if it is too zoomed in okay so we might want to limit it to some point okay and uh, then some this debug info it appears if there is any issue it uh, tells you exactly what's going on or how does it identify the information and uh the label coloring um uh, the labels in the background this is not these colors but these one we can change uh control them so we might want them to be dark or light so these coloring and the labels we can control that so you see it has become a little darker here okay and if i go for the light one i think this is not impacting but normally it would what it would do is this color the label coloring is we're talking about these labels of the different cities etc okay so that's it for our video uh do let me know how you like that and uh, keep an eye on the next ones as well thank you very much